What is going on, you guys, man? Uh, I, it's been a while, right? So I just wanted to bring to you guys something. I, I uh, was working on some other projects. I ran into some other interesting technologies. What you have over here on the left is, uh, is basically a battery pack, you know, a USB battery pack. And um, this is an ESP32. And ESP32 is basically a microprocessor chip. And there's this board, for example, I had bought three of these for uh, five bucks, uh, fifteen dollars. You know, they were like five bucks a piece, or like sixteen bucks, or something off of Amazon. And there's a variety of boards, and it doesn't matter if you get like some name brand or some Chinese brand. It doesn't matter. They're all pretty much the same quality. <clears throat> and the thing is, these are pretty amazing chips. Um, and the capabilities are they if you're a programmer they they basically can do multi-threading right there on the chip which is pretty pretty impressive to actually see anyway anyway so I wanted to create some something for people that would make it e sort of an easy jumping point so I have written some code for both this microprocessor which just you program from a PC and everything is available online and free to do that for and also this application here which is paired up with the program in the chip it's really a do-nothing application. It's like, what's your name? And the device answers. And it's like, what's is the LED on? You know, it's really just simple stuff. But it just establishes this principle that you can have. And, and right, all right, so it's such a lightweight power. It keeps shutting, like, my power supply shuts off because it doesn't pull enough power. So that little blinking is just part of the program. It's like, when it boots up, just do that. And uh, all this code is available uh, the links below uh, the code to program the chip to pr and the code this is Maui code using Microsoft now you, you need to get some certain things I probably make another video about that but you need Microsoft Visual Studio it's another free thing you can get community edition which is just great that's what I actually use Visual Studio 2022 um, uh, this is a Maui project which is like the cutting edge of uh, well at least for Microsoft on um, uh, mobile apps see this thing shut off over here anyway let's just so it's the thing is just to demonstrate a principle that you can talk to the to the, uh, the you know what let's uh, right the LED is on and the LED is off whoops you know and then it'll ask for the device name and I get to that in a second let me let me do this I just wanted to show that it's it wasn't connected to any sort of data source right it wasn't getting any sort of prompting from a microprocessor so I'm just gonna plug in just a you know one of these USB power cables right it just goes right into the wall so now it won't shut off it was shutting off not because of the ESP32, but because of this battery pack, it wasn't pulling enough power. I think, okay, right, fine. Hey, so uh, what happened? How do I fix that? What do I have to do? I can't even figure out how to fix the camera when I do that, right? Okay, so the principle is just to, to I wrote a program for the chip and then a program that goes along with the chip program with a sort of a simple protocol to talk back and forth to turn the LED on and off. Uh, to you know there's a, a list of commands like for example I, I can even tell it to reset which of course it'll say there's no response it should reset yeah there. and then this thing's like ah no response so I didn't that's not quite so you can work that out if you get it get the code uh, and then what happened I got something stuck here oh looks like there's a bug in the software if I come back Ah, uh, see, yeah, there's a bu yeah, okay. Anyway, so the reset is a little funky. I think everything else is relatively stable. So let's say to get device name. It should, and what's intro? Okay, let me get to that in a second. Right, the device name is just the Bluetooth that that got paired up. Right, um, get LED status for example. Right, the LED is off, so it should say it's off. Right. No matter how many times I get it. Now, there's a delay there because it keeps opening and closing the socket. So, let me get that. The Bluetooth socket, that is. And, you know, so it's just a real simple protocol. And I just, let me bring this up here. Here is the code example for um, the chip. And let me just, like, unclutter this if I can. So, there's the file. And basically, here is where the name of the 
device is specified at and uh, the rest of the code what you can look at I'm not going to go into the code right here but basically this is the code now in order to do this you're going to need to get this application which is where's the top of it okay the name of this application is uh, Visual Studio Visual Studio Code I thought there was a help Oh, there was, wasn't there? About, right. What you want to get is this Visual Studio Code, latest version. And then you want to get the extension, right? All these have the, all these extensions. So it's Visual Studio Code, and you need this extension, this Platform I.O., which you get the alien face here. And then you'll know it's installed properly because you'll get these things across the bottom, and this is how you compile it. So the check mark should compile this code here for this ESP32 chip and I don't have it plugged into the computer uh, so but basically this would upload it if it was anyway so that's going I don't have to show you all that but the point is, is that the, w the chip is totally programmable and also, oh, yeah, I mean, just, I don't know if there's anything really to see, but um, also I'm giving you the code for the Maui app. And, uh, excuse me, um, and all of the files involved in that. And here is an example on the left is uh, just all the files. There's a ton of files in this. It's, it's a... Uh, but what you need also to install is Visual Studio, uh, Visual Studio. That's actually what's called Visual Studio, right? 2022, the latest one. And um, you get that installed, and then you can run your Maui app. And what's ha what's cool is if you enable debugging on your Android or iOS, actually. But I didn't. It's not really written for iOS. But you can actually come up here. And like I have, uh, do I have one or two? Okay, I, I have one, an old Samsung hooked up to my computer. So I can actually run the program that's here right on, or it'll at least download it too, uh, to uh, the computer. So, I mean to the Android. So when you plug in your Android with Visual Studio running and, and debugging enabled on your Android, Visual Studio will see your Android, and that's how you can program. And also you can create the files and the APKs and all that. But all the code to do the Android app, it's a MAUI app, just make note of that. It's a Microsoft it's a multi platform something or other something, something. I don't know what it really all stands for. And this Visual Studio code. Now the th Visual Studio code over here, this dark one, this Darth Vader one, um, is um, a little finicky. So you'll see on the right side a lot of times it'll install stuff and it'll, it'll give you the option to cancel, never cancel. Just let it freaking, just let it have its corner of the world and just finish installing all the crap that it's installing. Never hit cancel while it's saying, you know, I'm doing this. Even if it looks like it's not doing anything, just the, pr the principal rule with this thing is just wait till it's done. Um... If you get a bunch of H files, if it's like, oh, I can't find this H file and that H file and something other, and you're like, where is this? Don't even try to find the files. Likely is you have a bad installation. And you can, uh, I'm getting a little deep into it. Anyway, anyway, I'll have to make another video. There's ways to get clear out your system with that. I was just about to go down a rabbit hole. Anyway, so there it is. Basically, you have the code. Links below, GitHub uh, links, and a couple of ideas about the other IDEs that you need. I don't use Arduino IDE to program. I use Visual Code with Platform IO. And, of course, Visual Studio 2022 as a MAUI app for the Android and you'll see some familiar stuff if you've seen my other OBD2 app. Now here's the thing. I also have over here another one of these, right? I told you I got three for like 15 bucks. And here is my um, CAN. This is a CAN interface. And actually, it's kind of... I guess I'm just talking... You know, I'm just talking stuff. Let me, uh, 
I'm getting away from my microphone over here. You guys won't hear me. But uh, somebody asked me how I do this stuff. And basically, you know, I've created this, this blue wire right here is the can wire. You get right in there. This is the can controller chip. It's hooked up to the ESP32. And basically what we got here are these two brown wires. These are going underneath here. These hook up to two of these pins. This is transmit and receive. These two brown pins or uh, wires are transmit and receive. The um, black and red are power and ground. And of course the brown wire just loops around. And then the blue wire is the can. And data flows in both directions. Right? In both directions. And basically that's, I think I bought five of these for $11 or something. I had to do the soldering. But you could actually, now I'm thinking about it, you could solder it like right onto the chip and then have your whole can controller. And this chip right here, man, you can take that program I gave you and go crazy with it. Um, really, you can... You can uh, Especially if you have one of these can chips. And I'm going to have to go into that because this... And then this wire comes down here and I won't even try to file the wire. The wire! And then what happens is, uh, like, you know, at one end I'll have your... Whatever OBD dongle that you're trying to sniff just plugs in. And it's like you have an extension wire. But what you do is in the middle of it, you cut into the can wires. And see that blue wire, right? That blue wire is coming from that cam we, uh, controller we just looked at. And then this green wire is going to another can controller, which is hooked up to a Raspberry Pi through a different interface. And I got wiring going on for that, man. So if you want to sniff the can, <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy. If you want to sniff the can effectively, you got to really use these hardcore low level systems. But the key is that you got to cut into the wire and access the can. I'll tell you, there's too many wires right there. Look at all those wires I ran. You're better off just getting like one long extension, right? And then that will plug into the car. Right? You plug that into the car. You bring all this crap outside or wherever. And you just turn your Raspberry Pi, right? I got the Raspberry Pi right there going. Come on. Come on, brothers and sisters. Yeah, there it is. All right, so I got nothing going on right now. So this is actually a computer system right here in, it, in, it, in and of itself. Hooked up to the CAN network. I got this hooked up to the CAN I got this little system here hooked up to the, this, this CAN network. I got this system over here also hooked up to the CAN network through that CAN chip there. But anyway, anyway, to just to get back from being all kinds of totally crazy this ESP32 uh, board is is really a powerful and and actually man compared to like 20 years ago like the code I'm giving you and and what's out there and the exa it's just amazing that that you can just do what you do and I've got I've given you a big head start because you got this code that should you know this should compile like you can just reset that bad boy I think it'll reset, yeah. And then, um, and then of course, uh, I wrote the app for you. You know, and and the app is designed for you. There's nothing. There's nothing held back on the app. It's all. It's just all you, man. It's uh, you know, you you all the code to you know to turn the LED on or whatever the hell was going on or, you know, how to make this list and. And you can alter this list. You can change the names of the buttons. You can change the names of the application. And you can change that. You can change the, uh, you know, what it says. You can change the icons. Um, everything, man. I, you know, it's meant to be a head start for for uh, anybody, really. But I'm thinking like younger people who like uh, just need some kind of something because this would be interesting. Because right, this could be uh, it's all out of focus, right? Because this could be like what a lock on a gate or some kind of device in your car. And forget it. This has digital anal digital to analog converters and analog to digital converters on this freaking chip, which is uh, this has pulse width mod. Forget it. Just forget it. And it's running at like two to over 200 megahertz. It's crazy, crazy. 
three of these for five bucks, man, and you plug it into your computer, and everything else is free. Everything else is accessible and free, dude, man. All right, links below. Great to see everybody. Hope everybody's, uh, you know, good and, you know, not sticking their fingers into metal things and being careful and driving carefully and everybody's being safe in the real sense. All right, talk to you guys uh, somewhere out there, man.